Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the OBS black screen on a laptop. This is an error that comes up mostly on Windows 10 versions newer than 1909. So if you have a newer version than 1909, you could be facing this issue when trying to record your display on a laptop, you see a black screen. I even saw a version of this error where if you had a monitor connected to your laptop, you could record the monitor, but on the laptop screen, you could see a black screen. So that's very weird. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So this is mostly an error related to your graphic card and the settings that you have within Windows 10. So first of all, in your OBS, just go to settings, then go to output and make sure that your encoder is hardware and VEC. In this case, I'm on a virtual machine, so that's why I cannot see that. But you, in your case, you should see that hardware and VEC. That's the best encoder that you can use for your OBS. So after you selected that, just go and click on the start button and then click on the settings icon, go to the system, then go to display, and then go down a bit and click on graphics settings. Here, just you're just gonna have to browse for your OBS, but to get the location faster, just go and tap in your search OBS, right click on OBS, and then go and click on open file location. Click on the address bar up here, control C, then go to browse, go to the address bar up here, control V to paste, and then press enter and you will see the location of OBS, select OBS and then click on add. On OBS, just go to options and then select power saving. So power saving is the best option if you want to use the display capture to display all the windows within your screen. But High performance would be good if you want to record with your OBS a window or a game. So if you want to record something, just make sure you select whatever you need. As I've said, power saving for display capture and high performance for a window or a game capture. Then click on save. This is the only option that can help you fix this black screen error. So as easy as that, you should be good to go. You should be able to record your screen. I'm hoping that this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe to the tech-based channel for more videos like this. Until next time, have a nice day.